member today on Macon County SWAT team, courtesy of Southwestern Community College. That member isn't human, but as News 13's Rex Hodge reports, it's likely it will save lives. Students in Southwestern Community College's Mechatronics program are especially proud of their SWAT robot. Operating similarly to a zero-turn lawnmower, has left and right side joysticks. Benjamin Mills says it has many functions. Lights, a horn, and grippers. This is to hold, you know, a canister, um, either uh, OC canister um, or a smoke grenade that they could drop inside of a location. A robot designed to be part of a SWAT team. Really wanted to get involved with uh, the SWAT team just to help prevent um, any potential problems, you know, just save a life if, if absolutely possible. Going through its paces at SCC's lab, this robot is graduating to active duty. A donation to the Macon County Sheriff's Office where officers say it will collect vital intelligence. How many individuals we're dealing with. Are there weapons involved? We may be able to identify that uh, with a camera system rolling into these rooms. The SWAT robot comes with a cost under $4,000, built with funding from the Golden Leaf Foundation, a vital tool the sheriff's office says it would otherwise not be able to afford. Being able to give the officers uh, awareness into an unknown situation is key to preventing someone from getting hurt. SCC teacher Jim Falbo and his students started building the SWAT robot last summer, keeping simplicity in mind, knowing it's likely to be used in complicated scenarios, like hostage situations. A horn to disrupt. Spotlights. They're bright enough to illuminate an area and they're also bright enough to distract somebody. The robot now packed up on its way to Macon County SWAT team. And it will be their sole responsibility to learn how to operate this thing properly and effectively. And a robotics team seeing a real human contribution from their latest machine. In Swain County, Rex Hodge, News 13.